It's when we have 14 and 15 year olds that go down to Austin and shoot each other. Local parents and community leaders are speaking out against bullying schools in Killeen. It's getting so bad there, a councilwoman holding an emergency town hall. An update now about that hot soup incident in Temple. Police have arrested 31-year-old Amanda Martinez, the lady seen on that video throwing a boiling hot soup in the face of a restaurant worker. Martinez complained that the soup was too hot. She was booked in the Bell County Jail earlier today. We've just learned she bonded out tonight, posting a $5,000 bond on an assault causing bodily injury charge. All right, let's get a first check of weather. Yeah, Caleb, anyone who's been outside in the past hour, they probably uh, can feel it. Close to 1.3 million gallons of sewage has spilled into Nolan Creek this week following a main break at the Temple Belton wastewater plant. Crews are now working to fix that break. They're also working with the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality on cleanup efforts. The city says it's not a life-threatening situation for folks, but rather something to be aware of. It's important that the public be notified of something like this in case somebody's down there fishing or doing something else. But it, it is in a remote area that does not typically have public access. Meanwhile, anglers are encouraged to avoid any dead or dying fish in that area for a few days. Shoppers are paying more this holiday season. Groceries like flour, eggs, and sugar are now ranging anywhere from 3 to 30% higher than last year. That's according to a new Texas A&M study. The ongoing supply chain issue is a big factor, as are higher trucking costs and drought conditions in some parts of the country. Some of them have a lot more seasonal demand given the time we're in. You know, cranberries, uh, some data from USDA on retail prices would suggest higher prices. Uh, you know, there's higher prices for some of the other uh, items, you know, some of the potatoes and onions and flour and butter. Anderson adds that checking out store sales and specials can help you save some money during the holidays. Other items inching up, the cost of sugar and cheese is up 3%. Eggs are up 29%. Milk prices are up 7%. Butter up 5%. And overall fruit and veggies, they are all up 3%. Get a quick update on COVID-19 across the state. Overall, now nearly 35 million vaccine doses have been administered. People partially vaccinated, that's about 18.2 million. Fully vaccinated now, more than 15.7 million Texans. Let's go ahead and take a look at the data a little bit closer to home here in central Texas for our 18-county region. More than 1.14 million vaccine doses administered overall. People getting that first jab, about 597,000. Fully vaccinated, and this number has inched up in the past week, more than 521,000. That's really what we want to see. McLennan County, more than 258,000 vaccines administered overall. Again, fully vaccinated, nearing in on 120,000 people. Down in Bell County, close to 310,000 vaccines administered overall. People getting that first shot, more than 160,000. Fully vaccinated, now zeroing in on 139,000 people. It's a first of its kind for Waco Police. It sure is coming up. Find out how the department is trying to help those who struggle with their mental health. Connecting Central Texas. We begin tonight with a developing story out of Falls County. An 18-wheeler carrying a dangerous chemical ruptured. At least one sheriff's deputy was airlifted to the hospital. The crash happened on FM 1240 and FM 147. Andrew, thank you again. One dead, multiple people injured, much more available at KXXV.com. So what exactly is this substance? Well, it is the gas ammonia in its liquid state. The National Institutes of Health says it is extremely dangerous. Just inhaling a small amount can lead to death or injury. Crews working in a hot zone need full respirators and also protective suits. Our other big story tonight, the Caldwell community reacting after a grand jury there indicted four high school students on third degree felony charges. That charge organized criminal activity, unlawful restraint. Court documents allege all four girls for first check of weather. Yeah, folks, and if you can step outside, go mm -hmm. ahead and check out the sunset. It is a beautiful night. On Capitol Hill, House Democrats coming together to pass President Biden's Build Back Better package. The administration says the plan will make historic investments in fighting climate change and even extending the child tax credit. It also covers things like affordable child care and access to free universal pre-K. No House Republicans voting for it. The GOP leader Kevin McCarthy speaking against it overnight in a heated House floor speech. Speaker Pelosi has crammed even more radical policies into a partisan bill 
that cost trillions in dollars we don't have. But despite Democrats saying the bill would be fully paid for, the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office says it will add about $160 billion to the federal deficit over the next decade. Latest vaccination numbers across the entire state, more than 35 million shots done statewide. People getting their first jab, that now more than 18.2 million. Fully vaccinated, the lower right there, 15.7 million. A little bit closer to home here in central Texas. The vaccination numbers, more than 1.14 million shots have been administered. People getting their first dose, approaching that 600,000 figure, that has been a big goal. Fully vaccinated, again, that is always the end goal. More than 523,000 people in central Texas are now fully vaccinated against COVID-19. Down in Bell County, they've been leading the way during the entire vaccination effort. More than 311,000 shots done overall, people getting the first dose. Approaching 162,000, fully vaccinated, nearly 140,000. In McLennan County, more than 260,000 vaccines administered overall. People getting that first jab, more than 136,000. Fully vaccinated, Naya, zeroing in on 120,000. Coming up, it's Adoption Day in McLennan County, and nearly two dozen kids are celebrating their new homes. But first, 25 sports anchor Jack Allen is live from our final game of the week. He's in Corsicana. We'll take you there soon.